What's up guys, I'm FlankLHG and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be installing windows on our Steam Deck. Alright, so why would someone want to install windows on their Steam Deck when the Steam Deck operating system is just so much better? Well, there are a number of reasons why someone would want to do that, but I'll just go ahead and give you guys my reason, and that's going to be compatibility. While there are plenty of games in the Great On Deck library, unfortunately, there's just a handful of titles that I like to play, such as Destiny 2 and Outriders, that just simply don't work on the Steam Deck due to the anti-cheat system not being compatible. Now, there are a couple of workarounds, specifically using cloud gaming, which I'll talk about in another dedicated video, but for now, what we want to do is install Windows so we can run these titles uh, natively on our Steam Deck. All right, so there's two methodologies to installing Windows on our Steam Deck. Method number one is actually gonna be us installing Windows on our micro SD card, while the other method is gonna have us install Windows natively on the internal hard drive, and we're gonna go ahead and wipe that out and just only install Windows. Uh, and in today's video, I'm actually gonna go over both methodologies. And don't worry, I'll leave chapter markers down below in case you guys want to skip ahead to one method versus the other. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the easier method, and that's gonna be installing Windows on this SD card. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna need a handful of things. Uh, when it comes to our first methodology, we're actually gonna need just two things. Number one, we're gonna need a micro SD card with at least 256 gigabytes of storage on there. Um, that's what I actually have here. This is a ProGrade 256 uh, gigabyte micro SD card. Now, of course, you can go ahead and get larger, but I picked this one specifically because it's UHS-2 and also goes up to 250 megabytes read and write speeds, as that's what I really wanted uh, for my system, a fast drive to run Windows. But you're gonna need a micro SD card, and then finally, you're also gonna need a actual computer. Uh, so we're actually gonna need a Windows-based computer. Now, there is probably a methodology to do this in Mac OS. I'm a Mac user myself, but for the sake of simplicity of this video, you're gonna need a Windows-based computer to actually do this next step. All right, so to get started, we're gonna need to head over to three different websites. Now, I'll go ahead and leave everything linked down in the video description below in case you guys want to just go ahead and navigate directly to it. But the first thing we're gonna need to download is actually a Windows 10 installation media. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this um, create Windows 10 installation media download tool. We're gonna to go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then we're also gonna need all of the Windows drivers for our Steam Deck. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and head over to the Steam Deck Windows driver link and then go ahead and download all of these different resources. And my advice is to put all of them into a single folder and name it driver to make it real simple once we're in our Windows operating system to install our drivers. And then the last thing I'm gonna need is probably a piece of software you've already worked with. You're gonna need a copy of Rufus. And then once we have all three of these actual pieces of software, we're gonna go ahead and, or rather, two pieces of software and our actual driver downloads, we're gonna go ahead and launch first our media creation tool. Now what this is actually gonna do is this is gonna allow us to download a Windows 10 ISO. Um, all this methodology does also work with Windows 11 as well, but Windows 10 is just a little bit easier to get it done for me, so that's what we're gonna be using for this video. All right, so once we accept our end user license agreement and get through all of our prompts, the next steps are gonna access what we wanna do. We're actually gonna do is create installation media or a USB flash drive or DVD or ISO. We're gonna go ahead with the default settings, Windows 10. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. Then it's gonna give you the option to either create a USB flash drive or go ahead and download an ISO file. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna download the ISO file. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then it'll go ahead and next where you wanna save it. And you can just simply save it to your desktop or somewhere on your computer that you know how to get to it later. Now, once we finish downloading our Windows ISO file, the next thing we're gonna do is plug in our micro SD card into our computer. Uh, a little bit of a pro tip, if you are working with a computer like mine that has a built-in SD card reader, this is a PCI one, so if Rufus doesn't detect it, that's because it needs USB. That's why I'm using a USB adapter here. But we're gonna go ahead and then launch Rufus and allow it to uh, pick up our devices. And then what you'll notice is that we're gonna have our actual SD card here, which is what I have here. I'm gonna make sure that's selected. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit the select button and grab our ISO file, which is gonna be Windows. Uh, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is change our imaging option, and then we're gonna switch it over to Windows to go. Once we're actually done with that, we can go ahead and then hit the start button, and we're gonna go ahead at that point, it's going to install uh, the Windows on side of our SD card, and then we can go ahead and move to the next step. 
All right, so once it's done creating that micro SD card, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is then head on over to our actual flash drive or our, the, the drive. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and drag that drivers folder that we created earlier over to our micro SD. So we're gonna go ahead and just drag it over. Um, and then at that point, we can go ahead and get started and head on over to our Steam Deck. All right, so now that we have our installation media, the next thing we're gonna do is actually make sure we have our Steam Deck uh, shut down. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the power button and actually shut our unit down. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace or just go ahead and stick in our micro SD card inside of our slot. And then at this point, what we're gonna do is hold down the volume button that's here at the top of the Steam Deck and then hold our power button until we hear a sound. And we can go ahead and release our power button, but keep holding the down volume button on our Steam Deck. And then now we are located at our boot menu. Hopefully the camera can actually catch that. We're at the boot menu, and then what we're gonna go ahead and do is select our uh, SD card here to boot from. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And then we're gonna go ahead and allow it, as you'll notice, it's gonna probably flip vertical, but it's gonna go ahead and head on over and start booting into Windows at this point. Now the next part of it is actually gonna have you go ahead and run through the setup process of Windows. I've already done it, so that's why it's not popping up for me, but it's fairly straightforward and simplistic. Set up a username and password, but then you'll be at this window where you can go ahead and head into your Windows operating system. You're gonna to wanna to head to that drivers folder that you created earlier. And by the way, you can navigate this using the, the actual touch screen, but I highly recommend hooking up a keyboard and a mouse to your system. It just makes navigating much, much easier. Uh, but you're gonna head on over to that driver folder that we created and go ahead and run through the entire list, starting off with our chipset driver and then working our way through the rest of the drivers to then have all of the actual hardware working perfectly fine with your Windows um, running on Steam Deck. And other than that, that is pretty much it with the installation method for installing it on your SD card. All right, so for our second installation methodology, you're gonna need two things. Number one, you're gonna need a USB-C flash drive or one that's at least USB-C compatible. This one is a native USB-C flash drive. I like to use these from SanDisk. They're pretty cheap, uh, but I also have one from Samsung that comes with an adapter. Uh, and then you're also gonna need a Windows 10 computer. Now, like I mentioned in methodology number one, you can probably do this in Mac OS and Linux, uh, but I never took the time to actually learn the methodology to actually do it. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna say it requires a Windows-based computer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the two websites that are linked down in the video description below. Uh, in link number one, we're going to once again download the Windows Media Creation Tool. So we're going to hit this link where it says Create Windows 10 Installation Media. We're going to download this application. And then we're also gonna head on over to the Steam support website where we're actually going to download the Windows resources. We're gonna download each one of these links here and, and these, grab all of these drivers and stick them in a single folder and possibly name that folder drivers or whatever you'd like, but we're gonna want it in a simple place so we can drag it and drop it onto our flash drive once we've created it. Now, once you've got all those drivers and everything inside of the folder, you're gonna head on over to the Windows Installation Media Creation uh, application, and we're gonna go ahead and select Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive, and we're gonna go ahead and hit Next, and then here it's gonna give us a couple options like selecting which version of Windows. And then you're gonna, this time you're gonna select the option USB flash drive. Now as long as you actually have your USB flash drive plugged into your computer, like I don't, but now I do, uh, and you hit next, it's gonna give you the option to select that drive. You're gonna hit next and then it'll go ahead and create that USB installation media. And then once you're done with this step, we're now able to head on over to our Steam Deck and actually install Windows natively on our internal hard drive. All right, so now that we have our installation media created, we're gonna go ahead and insert it into our system. And then we're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume button, the volume down button at the top of our system, and then press our power button. We're gonna wait till we hear a sound, and then we're gonna keep on holding down the volume down button until we actually get to our boot menu. All right, great. So now here we are in our boot menu. Now I'm using my secondary drive, so there's nothing on here. So our only option is gonna be our Samsung uh, flash drive. And we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now our system is gonna boot into the Windows installation. All right, great. Now I will tell you guys now that it is gonna stay vertical until you can get into the operating system and switch it over. So I'm gonna to have to hold it like this and you probably are going to have to too. But when you get to this menu, it's simply just gonna hit next. You're gonna kind of power through this, install now. 
and then I'm gonna do a custom install, Windows only. Now here's, normally if you already have pre-installed uh, Steam Deck OS, you're gonna have a bunch of partitions here. Uh, I, I have a clean drive, so I'm just gonna delete whatever partitions I do have here. Delete both of those. And then now we're just gonna go in and hit next. And just like that, we're gonna allow Windows to install on our native hard drive. And once we're done, we'll pop into the operating system. Uh, well, we'll run through the setup, pop into the operating system, and then uh, actually install our drivers, and then we're ready to actually test it out with some games. All right, now once we're actually at this part, it's uh, fairly simplistic. We can simply go to our display settings, and then we can go ahead and number one, go ahead and let's just switch this over to landscape, so we're not holding our Steam Deck anymore, uh, kind of weird. And the next thing we want to actually do is head on over to that uh, our actual flash drive, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and go into our driver folder. Drivers, oops, a little hard to navigate. There we go, no, did it again, did it again, oh, did it again. There we go. We're gonna head it over to our, uh, our drivers folder and we're gonna go ahead and install all of our drivers. Once again, starting with our actual chipset driver and working our way through the other drivers. And then after that, ready to go ahead and install Steam, start installing games. We can even install Microsoft Game Pass. Uh, we can install, you know, GOG, Origin, EA Desktop, whatever it might be. Now that we have Windows, we're fully compatible with all of the different platforms. All right, guys, but that is pretty much it. I know this video was probably a little bit long-winded, maybe a little bit boring, but uh, overall, we did get Windows installed on our Steam Deck in two different methodologies. Uh, to be honest with you, installing it natively on the internal hard drive is obviously a much better experience. It runs a lot faster than even running it on a pretty fast uh, micro SD card. Uh, it's really gonna feel like it performs a lot more. And in fact, I had a number of errors and really funky things happening when I was using it with the SD card, but you then do have the ability to dual boot, uh, booting into Steam Deck operating system and also switching over to Windows. So I'll probably only uh, use the SD card methodology and switch over to Windows when I wanna play Destiny or Outriders and then uh, stick with the Steam Deck operating system any other time. Either way, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, I ran into a couple of snags, but hopefully you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did when I was attempting to do this for the first time. So with all that being said, that is it for today's video. Once again, guys, my name is Fran uh, Flanco Leche. Uh, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in my next time. Oh yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. All right, see you guys in my next one. Peace.